Hello, and welcome to this week's Penn Energy News Update. I'm Hilton Price. Shale oil and gas resources in the U.S. and 41 other countries represent 10% of the world's crude oil and 32% of the world's natural gas. That's according to a new report by the Energy Information Administration and accounts for oil and gas that can be produced using current technology. More than half of the identified shale oil resources outside the United States are concentrated in four countries, Russia, China, Argentina, and Libya, while more than half of the non-U.S. shale gas resources are concentrated in five countries, China, Argentina, Algeria, Canada, and Mexico. While the current report considers more shale formations than were assessed in a previous version, it still does not assess many prospective shale formations, such as those underlying the large oil fields located in the Middle East and the Caspian region. Sudan has blocked nine security and economic pacts, including oil agreements with South Sudan. Sudanese President Omar al-Bashir issued an order June 8th to shut down the pipeline that exports South Sudanese crude oil. Although oil was shut down, some of South Sudan's exports did reach Port Sudan, and the country is permitted to sell it as long as it pays its dues to Khartoum. South Sudan only resumed oil flow after reaching an agreement with Sudan in March that normalized relations by setting up a border buffer zone. South Korean firms agreed to an engineering consortium to build a 176-mile oil pipeline in Cameroon. The pipeline is scheduled to run from Limbe, the country's southwestern Atlantic port city and location of the government's only refinery, to the cities of Bafusam and Bamenda. Cross-border smuggling incidents have damaged Cameroon's oil infrastructure there, limiting its ability to distribute fuel to filling stations. Ireland's energy minister announced the country is encouraging oil and gas exploration. The country hopes to learn lessons from Norway's success in the industry. The energy minister says he hopes a renewed interest in the Celtic Sea will increase business development as well as create jobs and other economic benefits. There has been recent growth in Irish oil and gas production, and the country announced the funding of a new seismic survey to further study the potential for offshore oil and gas exploration. Seychelles, the island nation east of Africa, will invite oil and gas companies to bid for exploration blocks after a two-year break from exploration. Regulators have also reviewed an updated rule surrounding energy exploration bidding. East Africa has become famous for exploration due to oil discoveries in Uganda and Kenya, as well as natural gas findings in Tanzania and Mozambique. In Seychelles, the companies can bid for areas of about 3.81 square miles. New licensing rules grant companies exploration areas on a first-come, first-served basis, while other companies have up to 90 days to submit a bid for the same area. Thank you for joining us this week. For these stories and many more, head to penenergy.com.